Hello South Africa. Today is Wednesday, September 28, 2022 and here are the top 5 stories that have made headlines for today. Mitchell's plane man drowns while rescuing teens caught in current. A 48-year-old man from Mitchell's plane, Cape Town was laid to rest on Tuesday, 27, after he tragically died while saving the lives of three teenage boys at Nandy Beach, Falls Bay on Sunday afternoon. National Sea Rescue Institute, NSRI, spokesperson Craig Lambinen conveyed condolences to Reza Yon's family on the day of his funeral. The NSRI said Yon witnessed the teenagers being caught in a rip current and launched into the water with a bodyboard to save them. Did a tornado just hit the Western Cape? Locals in a remote part of the Western Cape believe they have witnessed a tornado on their doorsteps this week, and viral video footage seems to back up their claims. However, no official confirmation has yet been given by weather authorities. Footage from outside a farm in Swellendam was shared on Twitter yesterday. It shows a spiraling spout of debris stretching imperiously towards the sky, whizzing round at a dizzying pace. Fierce winds can be heard at the scene, as observers keep a safe distance. Teen arrested for Magistrate Rome Van Royen's alleged murder. The Hawks arrested an 18-year-old suspect in Mitchell's Plain, Cape Town on Tuesday in connection with the alleged murder of a Western Cape magistrate. The victim was found dead in her home earlier this month. Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation, Hawks, spokesperson Colonel Catlego Mogali said the teenage suspect was traced and arrested at his home in Mitchell's Plain by a multidisciplinary team. The Hawks Crimes Against the State Unit, National Priority Violent Crime Investigation, Digital Forensic Investigation and the Priority Crime Management Center helped with the operation. N4 in Nelsprut closed after trucks collided and one overturned. The N4 at the Sadwula turn-off in Nelsprut, Bumalanga has been closed to traffic following a collision involving two trucks. The accident happened on Tuesday morning, September 27. According to Emergency Service Emergimet spokesperson Kyle Van Rienen, reports from the scene are that two trucks have collided, with one overturning. Jacob Zuma reveals who he wants to replace Cyril Ramaphosa. The Jacob Zuma slash Cyril Ramaphosa beef is still going strong, largely thanks to utterances made by Mshalozi. He has issued a statement this week, tackling a number of issues concerning the ANC. Mr. Zuma trashed his successor, before announcing who he'd like to lead the ruling party. There has been bad blood between the pair since Jacob Zuma was forced to resign by the ANC's top brass in 2018. Cyril swooped in and branded Yubaba's tenure as nine wasted years. Since then, they haven't seen eye to eye and there is no sign of a truce on the horizon. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.